All right, so you've just signed up for Superphone, you've logged into your account, now don't do anything else until you follow these quick steps. What's up everyone, my name is Dev Dooley and you're probably watching this video because you've just signed up for Superphone but now you have no idea what to do next. So, let's get started. Now, when you first log into your Superphone account, there will be a random phone number generated for you based on your personal phone number's area code. You can select this number as your primary phone number if you would like, or click here to see a pool of phone numbers to select from. The numbers will populate based on which area code you select. Once you select your phone number, there are four important things to do before you start sending text. So let's start out with your default form. Your default form is what users will need to fill out in order to add themselves into your phone book. Now, the best way to get contacts into your phone is to do a contact import, which I've spoken about in previous videos, or to actually have them fill out a form. Now legally, they must fill out this form in order for you to contact them through Superphone. Now to get to your forms and widgets, click the phone number in the top right corner of the page. This will bring you to your settings page. Now scroll down to forms and widgets. Click into your form and you'll see that you can upload a profile picture. Now, we suggest that you select a profile photo from one of your socials, such as Twitter, Instagram, or maybe LinkedIn, just because you want the people that are texting in to have something to recognize you by. Directly to the right, you can select custom URL for your form. I'll make this one, devdooley.superphone.io. Below, you'll also see the custom fields, which you have the option of adding or removing from your form. Options here include job title, Instagram, LinkedIn, and more. You can also add custom questions to your form if there is specific information you would like to gather from your subscribers. We'll go over this in more detail in a future video. Now directly below this, you'll see a form submission box. Here you can add a custom message that Superphone will send once someone completes filling out your form. I'm going to add, thanks for adding your information, text me anytime. Make sure this is enabled and hit save. If you scroll back to the top and click view form, you'll be able to preview what your users or subscribers will actually go through when they fill out your form. So if everything looks right, you're good to go. All right, so now that we have your form set up, let's go over automated responses. Now, your auto responses are the first few messages that Superphone is going to send out on your behalf when anyone texts in. So you wanna make sure that you're using these questions to encourage everyone to fill out as much information as possible on the form. So clicking back into your settings page, let's go over automated responses. Now you'll see that Superphone has a few fields pre-populated for you, but it's definitely in your best interest to make sure that you personalize these as best as possible. You wanna make sure that when people text in, they know that they're texting you. So for my form, I'll just set and say, yo, yo, it's Dev. Add yourself to my phone book here so I can have you locked in. Notice at the end of my message that I have form in between two angle brackets. Anywhere that you want to send a message in Superphone, if you put form in between two angle brackets the same way that I did, it'll make sure that your form gets sent. So when you are setting up your automated response, please make sure that you have this here. Otherwise, your message will not get sent and people won't have a place to input themselves into your phone. Now let's say someone texts in and doesn't add their information to your form. After 30 minutes, Superphone will send a contact info reminder on your behalf to encourage them to enter their information. Now remember guys, you can't send updates to anyone who hasn't actually filled out a form in your phone or otherwise you can't send a message or any type of blast to unknown contacts. So getting people to fill out your form completely is what's most important here if you really want to be able to contact them and send them updates and everything that you're doing with your brand. Now also, you'll see a checkbox for a vCard set. This will enable or disable Superphone sending out your virtual contact card so that users can save all information into their phones as well. If you scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll also see the information that you can enter. You can add a photo, first and last name, as well as job title, organization, and social profiles. Again, once finished, hit save. Now the reason why your virtual card is so important is because do you want people to be able to save as much information about you as possible so that way when you do send an update or a photo or a voice message or just a regular text, they know exactly who it's coming from and they know the best places to contact you, whether that be through Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or your email address. Now for your voice greeting, you can record on a voice memo either on your phone or your computer or you can upload a song type of your choice. But remember that it must be an MP3 format in order for this to work. 
Once you've handled these steps, Superphone will handle the rest for you, okay? So anyone that texts in, they will automatically get those first responses, they will view your form, and they have the ability to add themselves into your phone book, and it's super simple. Now remember guys, sign up for Superphone, select your phone number, set up your form, set up your automated messages, and you're good to go. Until next time, my name is Dev Dooley. Peace out.